Let's start with this one, Five Little Ducks. We've got lots of books today, a couple of fun songs, and some fun little finger activities. So we'll start with these. So we'll do this because we're going to remember, we're going to practice, we're going to practice our numbers, which are one through five, okay? So those are what we'll, what we'll practice. So here we go. What we're gonna need in here is duck, okay? So your full hand is like a duck. Very good, very good. Okay, hope you guys can see it. Well, there I am, okay. So, five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. There they are, there's five little ducks. One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, but what's gonna happen here in our little story here? Oh no, but only four little ducks came back. Oh, Christmas. Okay, four little ducks went out one day past the garden. Okay, so here's one plant, and then if you have more than one plant, Okay, past the garden and far away. Let's add a new person in here. Father duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh no, but only three little ducks came back. What do we have here? Looks like there's a, a carrot and a head of cabbage. Yeah, very good. I think that's it. Okay. Three little ducks went out one day past the horse. See the letter H? The horse. Well done, Cedar. Well done. And far away, Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh but only two little ducks came back. Oh no, those little ducks. Okay, two little ducks went out one day past the frog. Okay, so it's the two fingers that pop off the thumb if you haven't seen it before. The frog, but it's under your chin. And far away, father duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh no, but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day past the butterfly. So your wrists are in and crossed, the butterfly. And far away, mother duck said quack, 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 quack. All right, check this out, guys. Oh, that's my dog. That's my dog in the background there. But none of the five little ducks came back. Oh, look at the sad mother duck. Okay, there it is. A sad mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. Quack. Okay, this is my favorite part. <gasps> and all of the five little ducks came back. Oh, and there she is, giving them a great big hug. Very good, very cute. So, um, <clears throat> let's learn some of these signs here. So, this is a frog. That was handy. There's a little snail. So a snail, you just kind of climb it up your hand there, a snail, snail, yeah. Um, okay, so this one right here, the grasshopper, we're just gonna use that as a bug. So it's the three hand and then it's the thumb that comes up to your nose. And then if you wanted for the ladybug, you would start down at your chin for lady bug. Very good, lady bug, or just 
bug is fine too, okay? All right, <clears throat> we're all done that book, good job. Let's do, dun, 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 dun. okay, here we go. Some of you guys have done this before, but it's so much fun, we'll do it again. So, what do we need here? Farm, so this, this might be a little confusing because I'm kind of mirrored to you guys. So here's my right hand, this is my dominant hand. So I'm gonna start it across my body up at the little kind of beginning of my jawbone. And then it scoots down towards the hand that's doing sort of the work, okay? So like the big fences that kind of showed you the different property lines on the farms. Beautiful, okay. Here we go. So we have a little duck. Oh, I like your egg, Cedar. We have a duck. Probably, you probably find some eggs. Sorry, there's two fingers there. Some eggs on a farm. All right. Here, hold on. So then we have, sorry, we have a duck. Then we have a cat. Meow. Then we have a, oh, a dog. So that when you're gonna tap your thighs, but it might be hard for you guys to see me doing that. And reality is, is I'm just a small little box. Okay, so then we have a pig. So last week we saw, or maybe the week before we did orange. So orange is down by your mouth, like something sweet, like juicy that you're squeezing in there. And then a pig, like the snout. Okay, and then the last one is a cow. So we saw horse, which was the two fingers, like the letter H, and then here's a cow, okay? Here we go. So, oh, is it old? Yeah, old McDonald, okay? So here we go. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here quack there, quack everywhere, quack quack, old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, there's my little kitty cat, and on this farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O with a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here meow, there meow, everywhere meow meow. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Ooh, I've done quite a bit of singing on here, friends. All right, here's my little woof woof, little puppy. See him, Tommy? Hi, Tommy. Okay, here we go. And on this farm, he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O with a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here woof there, woof everywhere, woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. All right, here's a little piggy here. Okay, and on this farm he had a pig. Sorry, that was so hard for my little finger. I'll just kind of dance it there. E-I-E-I-O with an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink there and oink everywhere and oink oink. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, last one. Okay, and on this farm he had a cow, <laughs> E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here moo, there moo, everywhere moo moo. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Yay, friends. Y'all are great sports for letting me sing for you. So thank you, moms. Okay, <clears throat> so one song that I thought would be super fun to do is, actually, I just don't know if I wanna do it next. Yes, it is, we're gonna read this first and then we're gonna do the fun little song. So here is some ocean animals, okay? So who is, hiding in the sea. Hold on, friends. I have to let my dog outside. One second. If not, he'll just sit here and bark for the next 20 minutes. Go, both of you, goodbye. <sighs> I'm back. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Who is hiding? behind the coral reef. Okay, let's see what it is. Woo! It's a whale. 
So you're going to show sort of like this is the big tail at the end of the whale and they, they bring their big tail up and they flop it down and make a big splash on the water. So that's a whale. Nice. I love whales. Okay. Who is hiding behind the sunken ship? So here's some fish and then behind those fish, oh, dunna, dunna, a shark. You show their little fin up there. Yeah, like this thing right here. That's what you're showing. Shark. Okay, remember that one. That one's going to be for our next song. Okay, who's hiding behind the treasure chest? Ooh, it's a little wee crab. Okay, so, uh, no, this is a crab. Sorry, a crab. Get your little pinchers out. That's it, crab. <clears throat> Who's hiding behind the anemones? It's a seal. Okay, so you can either cross your hands like a seal, or if you want to be extra fancy, you can kind of bring them this way. I find this is a lot easier. It's just you'll keep them connected so it doesn't look just like a clap. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Who's hiding behind the whales? Ooh, it's an octopus. Okay, here's an octopus. So there's, hold on. Okay, well, you can see the head, like the body. So there's the body and there's the tentacles and you swim it around. That's an octopus. Or, or kind of anything that would look like that, like a squid or maybe like a jellyfish would also look like that too. Whoa, that was a big yawn, Tommy. All right, so we are going to do, for our next song, we're gonna do the baby shark song, because why not? So <clears throat> we've never done this in class before. So these are the signs that we will need for our baby shark. So we're gonna need shark, obviously. <clears throat> and then actually it's kind of like, we're gonna blend some different family signs in here too. So we have baby shark, baby shark, do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Um, then the next thing is gonna be mummy, mummy shark. Then the next one is daddy shark. Then we have grandma, okay? So a little bounce, grandma and grandpa, sorry. Um, and then uh, they say, let's go hunt. I think what, what they're saying is they're going to look for food. So this could be like a search, okay? Reminds me of adjusting my telescope to get a better view, okay? So both your hands are kind of coming in, almost like you're focusing in or narrowing in on something. Okay, then they say, run away, do, 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 run away, do, 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 do. Okay, then uh, the next one is, now we're safe or something. So safe, this is easy to remember because the rest is safe, safe. And then that's the end, do, 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 do. That's the end, do, 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 do. All right, so we'll give it a college try anyways. We'll have some fun. This is my first time doing this one too. Um, baby shark. Baby shark, do, do, okay. Here we go. Sounds like shark music. <laughs> okay, we start with baby. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Yay! Good job, guys. Okay, that's gonna start again. Okay, good. Okay, so let's keep going here. I got this one right, actually. Oh, maybe it is this one. Maybe it's this one. We'll do both. This one about ears. I think this one will be a fun one. Okay, so, um, whatever, we'll just sign what we know. Okay, who has, black and white ears. Okay, let's see. There's our picture. It's a zebra. Mm -hmm. Oh, who has furry little ears like this? Super cute. And there's a little baby koala. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the letter K, but with both hands, and then they cross in front and you give yourself a little scratch down. Koala. Very good. Okay, so there's the koala. Um, okay, who has long ears like this? Let's learn long. Long, long ears. Okay. So then we have a little baby rabbit. Very good. Oh boy, who has ears like this? It's a lion. Very good. Who has pointy ears like this? Oh, there's the ears. Okay, so the letter F at your nose and then it twists down. So fox, so you guys have also kind of seen like strawberry, right? Fox, okay. See that fake picture of the fox there? Oops, a little, oh, so beautiful. Oh, this one, I don't know what it is, so we're skipping it. Oh, cute, who's got little tiny ears like this? Oh. It's a sea lion. So we're gonna sign seal. A sea lion. Same thing as before, okay? Very good. That's the end of that book there. <clears throat> okay, so I have a couple more books. Oh wait, hold on. We're gonna do five little monkeys jumping on a bed. I knew we had some more stuff here to do. Maybe we'll just go with three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed today, friends. Okay, here's one little monkey. Maybe this monkey is feeling silly today. We'll give them also emotions. There's one monkey. Woohoo! And then this little monkey, maybe he's feeling happy today. Oh, this monkey's in my way. Happy. There's another little monkey. I'll adjust those monkeys so we can see them a little better. And then this little monkey, monkey number three, how about he's feeling, oh, I got an idea. He can be feeling excited today. There they are. We just, I just thought that I would give us some bonus feeling lessons there. Okay, so here's my little monkeys and they're gonna jump on the bed there, friends. They're gonna jump on the bed. Don't they just look like they're up to mischief here? Okay, so three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mommy called the doctor, there's that D, the doctor, and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, you're just in time to be my monkey girl. Oh, do you wanna help? Okay, okay. Here's my two monkeys. When I tell you, you can take them away, okay? There's okay. Stella again. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So 
daddy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, take it away there. Awesome. Just one. Only one fell, only one. Here's our, our last little monkey there. Okay, so one little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. So mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, okay. That's it for our monkeys. Good job. Okay, you can do something. Monkeys with those love you. each other. Oh, the monkeys do love each other. Isn't that so sweet? Okay, this next book. We're going to be a little loose with our translations of it. Okay. What's this? Oh boy, we're going to sign monkeys there as well. Monkey. Orangutan does not have its own sign. It looks like sometimes people sign OG or often they just sign monkey. Okay. Oh, wow. You know, wow. Look at that guy. There's a snake. My two little fingers. Snake. Okay. So this guy. Rawr. He's more than just a monkey. He's a gorilla. That was a fun one. Ooh, look, oops, there's a spider. Sorry, spider. So again, they're sort of like crossed and then these fingers are kind of hooked, spider. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so this is a Komodo dragon. We're gonna sign dragon for the heck of it, okay? It's not really the sign. They're, they're just, yeah. So, dragon. Okay, so you breathe your fire out, dragon. Ooh, how about these guys? Extra ick right now, right? Although, I think they're getting a bad rep. Okay, bat. So the two little bat. And then, actually, I feel like this is a good one. Gross, bleh, gross, bleh. So like a claw hand. Gross. Oh my, look at that down at the bottom. That is a scorpion, yuck. So you can sign scorpion with this hand down here and then there's kind of like your, your little stinger. Or you can ditch this hand and just kind of sting, like a little, okay? You know how they kind of do that? So one little finger, and it's kind of crooked like the X, okay? All right, let's see. What else is our little friend here gonna do? Oh, there's another spider. Tarantula is actually finger spelt, or you can just sign spider. Sorry, there should have been two hands there, but you guys get it. Ooh, how about this lizard? It's kind of pretty. Okay, so a lizard is your hand is out and then the letter L is going to creepy crawly up your arm. Lizard. Okay. And then again, another snake, or you can finger spell cobra. Snake is fine. <gasps> how about this guy? Whoa. How about a tiger? Whoa, Everett wants to get right up beside that tiger there. See him, buddy? Holy Toledo. I wonder if they remember to brush their teeth every night, those guys. I'm sure there's people who do it for them. Okay, <gasps> what about this guy? Yikes, check out that big crocodile there. Oh my goodness, how about a crocodile? And then you guys know the alligator's the smaller one. But the crocodile's the big one. Very good. Okie dokie. Okay. After a journey through wild and dangerous places. Oh boy, it's good to be back home. And it looks like this little boy maybe was reading a book and beside him there's a, a squirrel. 
there. And his very best friend, his dog. Oops, sorry. Very cute. That used to be one of Skylar's favorite books. It's called Yikes, if anyone's interested. It was a cute one. Okay, now, um, okay, we're gonna do Down on Grandpa's Farm, but a different version, a different version <clears throat> by Sharon Lois and Bram, because who couldn't use an extra little dose of Canadian magic, right? Makes me feel good. Okay. So on this, it sounds all the same, but we're going to do, yes, all you guys have done colors. Okay, so we're going to do a green frog. That's the first one. I'll kind of shout them out as we go. And then we're going to do a pink pig. And then we're going to do a white cow. Very good. All right, here's a new one. A red, like your lips red rooster okay like they're cock -a -doodle -doo, they're a little i don't know whatever there is and then um a band i think we'll, we'll actually show them up before that okay so we need the frog the pig up by your nose the cow and the rooster okay let me back up a bit this one's kind of a fun one I wanted something a little different that we hadn't done already. Library, here we go. Oh, Grandpa's Farm. Yeah. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's Farm. Oh, it's fast. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's Farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little green frog. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little green frog. The frog, it goes along like this. Ribbit, ribbit. The frog, it goes along like this. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, we're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a fat pink. Pig. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a fat pig. pig. The pig, it goes a lot like this. The pig, it goes a lot like this. Oh, we're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there, there is, is a milk, milk white cow. Oh, down on Grandpa's farm, there is a milk white cow. The cow. She goes a lot like this. Ooh, the cow. She goes a lot like this. Ooh, oh, oh. we're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way. We're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Okay, red. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is an old red rooster. ones in there that we haven't done yet before okay so that's off um now what are we doing for time oh i think we're doing just fine okay so we did this um we did this song with the easter stuff so we'll do it with some animals just to get some extra little animals in here i think is there only is this the screen uh okay i'm gonna try to get everyone's names into this little activity. Okay, here we go. Um, but then I can't see myself. All right, here we go. So down around the corner at the pet. Okay, so we have animal and then we have pet. At the pet shop there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came Alyssa all alone. There's your little koala. And she picked out a koala and she took it on home. Nice choice. Okay, I don't think we've done this one yet. Okay, Webster, I see you in the background there. Buddy, this one's for you. Okay, down around the corner at the 
pet shop there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought along came webster all along and he picked an esther too yep esther you picked it out too and he picked out a duck and he took it on home okay. oh. all right how about this one a bear okay down around the corner at the pet shop, there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came Tommy all alone, and he picked out this cute little bear, and he took it on home. It's a handy one for right now, home. <gasps> Ooh, buddy, Everett, look at what you got. Whoa, look at this little cute penguin, yeah. He chose a penguin. Well, I chose a penguin for him. I chose a little penguin for him. Down around the corner at the pet shop, there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came Everest all alone. And he picked out a penguin. And he took it on home. Glad I put a bra on today for that sign, friends. Okay, so here we go. Carson, you're up, buddy. What haven't we done? Hold on, I wanna do one that we haven't done yet. <gasps> Down around the corner at the, I feel like this is more of an animal than a pet. But anyways, at the pet shop, there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came Carson all alone and he picked out this elephant and he took it on home. All right, Kaylee, I don't see Arlo, but I'm gonna sing him in. Okay, how about, you know, like the rounded beaks? You can even do it with one, it's up to you. Okay, <clears throat> a parrot, okay? If you forget, bird is fine. Down around the corner at the pet shop, there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came Arlo all alone, and he picked out a parrot and took it on home. All right, JD, don't want to distract you, buddy, but you got a panda. Okay, the letter P, panda. Kind of like their little eye markings, panda. Okay, and just like pink, where you use that middle finger and Pineapple, where you use the middle finger, you use the middle finger for this one for Panda, okay? Oh, he's cute. Down around the corner at the pet shop, there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came JD all alone, and he picked out a Panda, and he took it on home. All right, Tammy and Luca, I saw you guys, so I'm gonna assume that you're still there. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, look at this cute little hippo here. Oh boy. All right, so, like my hippo? <laughs> Down around the corner at the pet, the big pets shop, there were all kinds of pets waiting to be bought. Along came Luca all alone, and he picked out a hippo. And he took it on home, just like Stella said there. And I believe Laura and Layla are our last little friends. Yeah. Okay. All right, Laura and Layla, I'm going to choose a good one for you guys. <gasps> of course I'm going to pick a good one. Okay. So, down again at the Big Pets, the Big Pets shop. Down around the corner at the Big Pets shop, there were all kinds of Big Pets. Oh my Waiting to be bought. You want to give him a kiss? Give him a little smooth. Oh, Stella gave him a kiss for good luck. Along came Layla all alone, and she picked out this great big moose, and she took it on home. Hmm. Some fun, eh? Friends to take home a moose and a hippo. That could be fun. It could be a fun project for us all to do. Right? <clears throat> Okay, now, check it out. Once upon a time, we had a little caterpillar that went through all this stuff. 
but it's survived two children in 15 years. So we've, we've lost it. Lost, lost, broken, broken, lost. Okay. All right. So we'll just do the best we can here. Okay. This is one heck of a big book. In the light of the moon. Let me just see if I can angle you guys so you see less of. Okay. In the light of the moon. Moon. Okay. Uh, in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Right? There's your stem and there's your leaf. There's the moon. Sorry, I feel like moon. It's hard to see because you can't see my head. Oh, look at this. Oh, the sun. The sun. Okay. Oh, did we do the days of the week? Yes, we did on Sunday, right? Um, okay, well, there it is. We'll do it anyways. On Sunday, on Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped out of the egg, sorry, egg, came a tiny, a teeny tiny and very hungry caterpillar, oh, sorry, caterpillar. So the caterpillar, gosh, I said that wrong three times. The caterpillar is on your forearm. Okay, we did snails sort of over here, but caterpillar is on your definite arm, okay? So there's the little guy. Oh, and there's the little caterpillar, friends. He looks like he's green with a red face. All right. I bet he's gonna go and look for some food. So let's see, okay. There we go, here's our first page. It said, oh, oh gosh, it's like I've read this book before. He started to look for some food. Oh, there you are, Arlo, I see you now. Okay, so here we go. On Monday, so that's the letter M, twisted in little circle. On Monday, on Monday, he ate through one apple. There it is. Oh, but he was still hungry. Okay. So Tuesday is the letter T, but then you bring your wrist in and then he does little circles. On Tuesday, he ate uh, through two pairs, but he was still hungry. Goodness sakes. Oh, there he is poking out. How cute is that? Okay. On so there's your W, twist it in. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Okay, so sorry, three plums. So you could sign a purple peach, or you can sign plums. Okay, up to you. There's the three little plums, though. Okay, on Thursday, so that's the H. Right, because Tuesday we used it for our, the T, we used it for Tuesday. So for Thursday, we're just gonna do a little H, okay? On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry, goodness sakes. Whoa, look at all those strawberries. See him, Tommy? Whoa, that's a lot to eat. All right, here we go. And then on Friday, there's your F, little circles. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. That's like us at our house. Oh, but he was still hungry. Goodness sakes. Okay, here we go, friends. Holy Toledo. So, on Saturday, make an ass, little fist. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of, okay, first I'll do the signs, chocolate cake. There it was. One ice cream cone. There's the ice cream cone. 
Oh, here's a fun one, a pickle. So after I've just made sure that you guys all knew about the middle finger for pineapple, if you do it with the other finger, it's pickle. It's also sour. Ooh, sour. Okay, pickle. How about one piece of cheese? Whoa. One slice of salami, just the same as a hot dog. You know how they kind of like, I don't know, reminds me of being in pantyhose, how you feel like you're kind of squished in there, okay? Um, one lollipop. Yep, so like the ice cream cone is your full hand, the lollipop's the one little thing that you hold on to it. One piece of cherry pie. There's a the little cherry pie. Oh, some more. One sausage. You can do the same sausage. What did I say? Well, I guess it was salami last time, same thing. Or if you want, you can show the difference, meat, okay? Um, one cupcake, same as cake. Ooh, and one piece of watermelon. So we know any kind of melon, middle finger, you flick it off, you flick off your seeds, water, melon, okay? And then for cantaloupe and like mel uh, water do or whatever, you know how they have the different colors, you could sign orange, melon, green, melon, water, melon. All right. Um, okay. Goodness sakes. Oh, wait. Was this little piglet done yet? Oh, that night he had a tummy ache. He felt, so you could sign he had a tummy ache, right? Heard at his tummy. Or he felt sick. He probably had a little puke too. Okay. The more you go around, the more you puked. <laughs> okay. So, oh goodness, he did not feel well. The next day was Sunday. Okay. So all the letter, all the, all the days of the week have like the letters except for Sunday, which either looks like you're washing the windows or you're celebrating because it's kind of sunny. Okay. Sunday. Um, the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Oh, good. Sorry, felt much better. Oh my goodness, check this out. Holy Toledo. This is what I feel like right now, friends, during quarantine. Whoa, Tommy, you see that big caterpillar there? Yeah. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little, oh, here, caterpillar anymore either. He was a great big fat caterpillar. Sorry, that'd be your arm. Okay, he built a small, you could do build. He built a small house called a cocoon. There's the cocoon. <laughs> Around himself. He, oh, well look at this. He stayed at home, perfect, just like us for more than two weeks, right? Let's say for more than seven weeks even, no big deal. Then he nibbled, he ate a little hole in his cocoon, he pushed his way out. Oh my goodness, look at what happened. Oh, it's so beautiful. See the wings, Tommy? Oh, that is so beautiful. It's a, a butterfly. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, I love it. Oh, Carson, you look like you're signing butterfly. I love it. All right. He was a beautiful butterfly. Okay, I think that, oh, I, maybe that's the end of this book. The end. The end. All right, one more book. One more book, friends, before our time together is done. Because it's sad to say goodbye. Let's do one more of these cute little animal books, okay? Here we go. Ears. Wait, we did this one. Okay. We did that one already. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we'll do this one instead. 
Okay, this one's all about tails. Who has a colorful tail like this? Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a peacock. A peacock. It might have been hard to see where I was. A peacock. Bing. Okay, peacock. That's pretty beautiful too. Okay. Oh, okay. Who has a striped tail like this? It is a Lemure, friends. And I looked it up today and it is an L-E-M-U-R. I think when we go to the zoo, I usually sign just monkey, but it does have its own sign and it is just finger spelt. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Okay. Ooh, who's got a scaly tail like this? Let's find out. It's a lizard. It's another lizard. Lizard. Oh, that is awfully pretty. Look at all the colors there too. There, that's a better angle. Oh, this is a fun one. Who has a flat tail like this? Now, it's a beaver. So what we do is we put up our tree, and then instead of having this hand here under our tree, what we're gonna do is make it two little teeth, and we're gonna show the beaver eating at the base of the tree, okay? That was pretty cute, pretty fun. Okay, that's a beaver. Oh, look at him. Okay. We've learned this one. Who has a wet tail like this? It's a whale. Oh, it's a, a whale. See it? Oh, there's that whale. Oh, I love those ones. Those are my favorite. Oh, I love them. Okay, friends. These guys might be visiting at your house because it's just about that time for them to wake up. Okay, who has a smelly hoop? Who has a smelly P-U tail like this? Okay, so you see the white and black stripe? Skunk. Okay, yeah, sorry, skunk. Very good, just two little skunk. Who has a bright, oh, you learned a bright last week too. Bright. Who has a bright tail like this? And who is it? Oh, it's a little, Goldfish. If you know the colors, a gold. Here's your G. Fish. Oh, that's sweet. We have some fish like that downstairs. <sighs> all right, friends. I'm looking around and I see that we did, we finished all of the books and all of the song, all of the books and all of the songs and all of the fun activities that we were gonna do.